All right, let's give it up for Johnny. Come on now, come on, let's see your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny in the house. I first met Johnny in the third grade at my grandmother's funeral. And Johnny didn't scream as much back then. He just looked at me with those cold, smoke black eyes. I should probably explain that I recently named my depression Johnny. And I don't remember his exact words, I just know that we spent all of that night and most of the next day together and not since then, a day goes by in which I don't see him coming but he is never going. You see, Johnny told me that one day my mother, my father, my brothers and sisters, yes, one day even I was going to end up in that same chestnut box with oak lining. Johnny told me that if I would stay close to him, he could keep me safe. So I got scared and I tried to run away, but you know how fast Johnny can run. He has always been bigger and stronger than me. When I was 14, I got my first job. Johnny told me it was good I worked at a hardware store because I didn't have the brains for much else. Mm -hmm. Told me I told you so when I spilled that bucket of paint all over the front counter, covering it up the same way I wanted to cover up my relationship with him, not wanting people to know how well know I knew Johnny and how well depression I mean, Johnny knew me when I was 16. I met the most beautiful girl in the world, Nissa, with long black hair and eyes like depression, like Johnny's eyes. She had a smile made of a thousand jumping spiders. Johnny told me that girls like strong men with tough hearts and wide shoulders. But my heart was easily broken. My shoulders were as narrow as the light and my darkness and strength has never been my forte. So Johnny saved me some of that depression. When I was 18, I thought that I'd finally outrun him, but Citalopram Sydney and Percocet Susie could not keep Johnny away, so without warning or hesitation, Johnny backed a dump truck up on me. Switched the PTO on and dumped a bed of questions out on me like, is there any reason at all that you can think of to be happy? Is this where you thought you were gonna be when you were 26? Do you really think a hippie bearded kid has anything of value or saying to these people? He said, I bet you didn't even notice that bottle gun sitting in your hand. He said, son, tonight it might be your opportunity to take a shot. Johnny has not always bested me. I best him every time that I wake up, catch a nap, see my girlfriend, hug my mother, hug my father, wake up every time that I cry, scream a poem about how this shit fucking sucks. I wake up, and if you know Johnny, know that he is waiting down those stairs for you to come back out, know that he is bigger and stronger and smarter than you have ever been, but that together, we have always been able to outsmart depression, and I know this does not mean that Johnny is not close to me, but I don't have time for his fucking questions when I have all of this life in front of me. Nice. You better run! Yeah. Yeah.